How would these kids' snacks taste all grown up? Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. Happy birthday, Link. Oh, you shouldn't have. Shouldn't have what? Well, I was assuming that you did something amazing for my birthday, and you shouldn't have gone through all that trouble. Great. Great. Okay, how about you get to eat a bunch of kids' foods, but adultified in such a way that you don't feel guilty eating them as a middle-aged man-child? Oh, you shouldn't have. It's time for adultifying kids' foods so we can eat them without guilt. We're sick of being judged, especially by you, Chase Hilt. Yeah, Chase Hilt, stop judging us. But you you did get me something for my birthday, right? Oh, yeah, of course. And, and you got me something for my birthday, really, right? Well, yeah, I'm gonna give it to you and more, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What does that face mean? Okay, let's 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 get into this because I like this concept because my palate, yes, it's a little juvenile. I like spoonfuls of peanut butter. I like sugary cereals. The microwave American cheese on white bread. You like yeah, that too? Yeah, <laughs> twenty seconds, baby. Yeah. Okay, so we've asked the mythical kitcheneers to take four popular kids' foods and give them the adult treatment. Because I'm older now. Yeah. Well, so am I. Every day. Uh, we'll decide if the snack is worthy of reclaiming by declaring grown-ups called dibs or just for kids. All right, let's start out with the ubiquitous kids dinner, dinosaur chicken nuggets. They allow you to feel like an even bigger dinosaur because you get to bite off the heads of mm, oh. the T-Rex. Oh, um, look at me. You're having too much fun with that. I've been told that I can't have this type of fun in public right. at my age. Mm -hmm. So we decided to change the shape of chicken nuggets into adult items. And don't don't get too hot and bothered. Yeah. <laughs> These are chicken a la nug. Um, what's this, Nicole? Uh, that's a briefcase for oh. all your adult papers. I thought it was. And Manila I, envelopes. I thought it was stuff. a little purse. A pocketbook. <laughs> that was a little purse. And what is the dip here? Uh, that's an heirloom tomato ketchup, very heavily spiced, Ooh, very oh. delicious. If I do say so myself. As an adult. Now what's can, this? I'm definitely. This just looks like a square. Um, that's a newspaper that hasn't been opened yet. So like, it's like a closed, <laughs> like boring newspaper. It's square. All right. You let, don't know what's on it. Let's eat it. What's this? This is a this is a, a French horn. Uh, a squirrel. Turn it around one more time. A French horn. Turn it. Turn it. Yeah, that's a sensible heel. You know? <laughs> well, but it also doubles as a squirrel. I mean, <laughs> literally. Oh, it really doubles. Yeah, yeah. And uh, this is just a fish. That's a necktie. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, that way. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is a necktie. It's a short necktie. And then this is a giraffe's head. Uh, turn it around. Turn around. That's a wine glass. Oh, sippy sippy. You know, as long as you're here, to, as long as you're here to give the adults <laughs> instructions on how to <laughs> engage with these. Oh, mm. now I want to taste this pimp boot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that ketchup's gonna be a little bit much for you, I think. I've already had it, and it's very um, it's very sweet, but adultified. Quite. Whoa. The best part about this was. The game I just played with Nicole, you know what I'm saying? Like it was an adult game. It was a very, it was a very adult game, very mature game where I held things up and Nicole told me to turn them over to explain exactly what they were. I mean, there it's has not a fish. To, it's a necktie. There has to already be like fully adultified nuggets, right? I'm talking. I'm talking like <laughs> you're going to work. Gotta wear your sensible heel too. Wear well, your sensible go. heel. You know. I'm talking wieners and fallopian tubes and whatnot. <laughs> well, listen, if you can make um, a wine glass, you can make a wiener. I know you can, but we didn't. And no, I, I just, did. I did. That's why I, I, I just made don't, a circumcised. Wiener. I just don't think this works. Do you think it works? Make your argument. I made mine. I said that I enjoyed the game, but the game is not exa exactly adult. Adults don't play games. We don't have time for games. We we unroll newspapers. I understand what we're going for here, and I appreciate the effort, but I still feel like making chicken into any kind of shape, that's not chicken. That's not wieners? Or wieners, is kind of a kid's thing. Chicken a la nug, just, just for, for kids. kids. Now goldfish crackers are the perfect kid snack because they're young fish eaten by young kids. Understand the principle, right? Okay, so if kids eat young fish, wouldn't grown-ups eat? Old fish? That's what we've cooked it's up here. It's logical. 
Now th this is a nice looking <laughs> packaging, isn't it? I mean, it looks like it's so for, sophisticated. Not just adults, but like actual like retirees kind of a thing. Yeah, and it's got aged cheddar. Twinkle fingies, did you you work this up? This is nice, man. I like the the old people font. And there's you actually don't see the old fish on here. You just get like a piece of cheddar. And I love that. That was a good choice. Quality aged know? cheddar in every bite. We don't need nutritional. Oh, we do have nutritional. Oh goodness! Look, and this thing. Oh, there's one in there. <laughs> there's. It's a prototype. There's one in there. It's a I prototype. Love it. I love it. Okay. I don't want to break it. Let's taste this and see if we could consider it to be a seaman's delight. Um. Hmm. Oh, Isn't look. That? You. You know. This is something we discovered a while back. It's got a smiley face? There is a face on most, there's supposed to be a face on every goldfish, but when you get an old fish, you can really see that face. How did you prototype this? You like, you took goldfish, yeah. young fish and olded them? Well, uh, not really. We just made a cracker out of some cheddar, a little bit of seaweed, some kelp, sea salt, and then we made it kind of a little bit like upset because you know he's old, so he has bags under his eyes. I see the bags. Like, not really happy to be here. So you didn't take goldfish and make them into old fish. You really, we from the start, cracker, it's yeah. real aged cheddar, and I think she said seaweed. You probably shouldn't have listened to that. I know, I know. Oh. <laughs> wow. That is a nice flavor, Nicole. Thank you. It has really got, it's pungent. You remember when we went into that cheese shop in Wisconsin and made the cheese wrap like 14 years ago? Yeah. And they had a very old aged cheddar. It was like a 10 year aged cheddar. And they said, the only people who buy this and like this are like elderly men. Something about their tongues. I do, I do remember that. Their tongues are so old and broken that the only thing they can taste is like super sharp cheddar. And I tried it and I was like, I like it. <laughs> <laughs> you, you're old on the inside. Yeah, right. And this is starting to come out. Man. This is, this is good. I don't taste any of the, uh, the, uh, the, the ocean paper. Yeah, it's, it's pleasant. Old people can be pleasant. Yeah, and if you just, bro you know, you, you broke this out at like a grown up party this somewhere in, in the hills. This is um, good. It it, you know what it reminds me of? I wasn't throwing my thought. <laughs> you wasn't throwing your thought? No, yeah. throw it, sorry. I wasn't throwing it, I wasn't done with it. If you broke these out at like a party in the hills, I don't think you'd get any strange looks. That was all I was gonna say, it wasn't that great. But Glad you, you finished that. But you didn't let me finish. I knew where you were going with it. It reminds me of, you know, when we went on, um, we went on Kelly Clarkson's show and oh, like- Oh, name dropper. <laughs> name dropper Neil. I could call her right now. No, she didn't give me her number or anything. Um, she didn't? But she gave us a gift and one of those things in the, in the dressing room was wine chips. Uh. Not a sponsor, but it is a brand and it's like, it's potato chips for old people who drink wine. And they're really good. Just like this. This is some good stuff. Old fish. Grown up called Dibs! Dibs. <laughs> I want more pudding in my life and I don't wanna to have to go to the hospital to get it. Or back to middle school. Okay. You know? Both those are bad options. So I wanna I wanna have some snack packs for me as a healthy adult out in the real world. So we have commissioned the production of Napa Valley Valley. <laughs> Napa Valley pudding. Yes. Napa Valley. Look at those. Look at those, Link. Now it's as it says right there, snack pack wine pudding cup. Wine. So this is pudding. wine flavored pudding. It's pudding flavored wine. I'm just kidding. Yeah, I know you're right. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I'm still excited. <laughs> and and you've done the layering you just, here. You just yeah. you rip that so thing it's off. It's uh, Pinot Grigio and Cabernet non alcoholic, of course. And we just made a pudding out of them with a little bit of chocolate. Mm. Dig right in. It smells good. Do you suggest digging or just pu pushing it back? Pull it, uh, pushing you know, it back? Do whatever you want. You're Dig an it. adult now. Dig it out. So this is kind of like Tiramisu's drunk uncle. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I kind of like it. <laughs> it yeah. punched my mouth a little bit. It did. You know, in like a good way. Yeah, because it's still, you still got that. I'm trying to get to the next layer. I'm gonna get a little bit oh, more I got, chocolate. I got a little bit of white wine on the way. Mm. I can picture like a hard working mom at the end of the day in her bathtub, surrounded by candles, just like, <laughs> just slurping down some pudding. Or welcome to book club. Mm -hmm, <laughs> you that. know what I'm saying? Yeah. I like to picture moms in bathtubs, not book club though. 
Oh, did I say that out loud? <laughs> I didn't hear it. Uh, the white wine <laughs> is nice. <laughs> what is that? I mean, how do you even do that? I, is, there, just, is there still a chocolate flavor in there? Yeah, there's a little bit of white chocolate in there. It's so good, Nicole. Oh, thank you. It's, mm, mm. This is fun. And I mean, if it were alcoholic, and it eventually should be. It could be, but it is not. Then, I mean, this would like be my preferred method of getting intoxicated. It would? And yeah. then when you finish your it pudding, would, you've got, you got a little glass. Take home glass. Comes with a free wine glass. Or you can take it to the store and exchange it. <laughs> now you tasted some of this, right? Except of in the state of Colorado. You like, oh, right? I, I love. This is, this is so <laughs> smart. You made wine pudding. I don't. I mean, I didn't even think this could be a thing. I mean, this is threading the needle because I'm getting all of that like nostalgia of eating pudding, but none of the shame. No shame at all. Eating and, pudding out of a wine glass and, until I embarrass everybody <laughs> in the around bathtub. me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we're gonna live, uh, limit you to one cup, okay? Napa Valley, or should I say, Valley pudding? Grown ups call dibs. You know what, I'm gonna give you a present for my birthday. Oh, Today through Friday, June 3rd only, I'm gonna give you 20% off everything on the Mythical Society. If you're not a current member and you wanna join up, you heard that right. I'm giving you 20% off all plans, first, second, third degree, monthly, quarterly, and annual are all 20% off. Wow. So this is all coming right? out of your paycheck? This is coming out of my paycheck. Well, okay. That's right, all it's right. my gift to you. All right. The annual plan, is at the lowest price it's ever been for these three days only, so do not miss out. MythicalSociety.com for details. It's coming out of Rhett's paycheck. Hey, hey, what? Hey! Yeah. Okay, grown-ups love cheese and crackers. You can't dispute that. Yeah. But could you imagine sharing one of these old school candy snacks with another a grown-up? I mean, look, at what it'd be such a shameful thing if I was to, like, to take this thing and then stick it into your mouth like this. Oh, I don't, don't want to do that. Is anyone watching? Well, you know what? <laughs> Huh. We are introducing the adult-friendly version meant for friendly adults to share. This is called the, well, isn't that handy, snack. And of course, this is gonna cost you a lot more. Right. Because there's, uh, there's a, a basket, there's a woven basket. Cloth. There's, a, there's an embroidered top. But mm -hmm. adults have jobs. And then you open that thing up and you know? look at that. Holy moly, look at that. Is that little baguettes? A little baguette and some fondue. Don't mind if I find do. Oh, and look at that. That's kind of like the, you know, the, yeah. Yeah. Because you know how the, it's the, like the um, red stick with the, the, the red cracker stick version of it. On these. the thing has like a thing, and then so you do that. And yeah, we know. You, oh, gosh. Here, let's, let's just, yeah. Let's I mean, it, you could really you could really spread with that on but it. But you don't need to, though. Here, just let go. Yeah, just take it. Let go. Just, let, just, just. Okay, you can have that part. All I you can want. have this part. Uh, so I'm just going to come in here. Get a little dippy do. I can maybe I'll put a little bit more on there. Uh, well, you know this is going in your mouth, so what? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean we're oh. sharing. Oh yeah, now adult, uh, adults share. adults can watch. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's your, that's your stick. Now if you could wet my stick. That's some strong cheese. What kind of cheese you got in there? Wow. It's Alpine Swiss and Gruyere. Alpine Swiss mm -hmm. and Gruyere. Hmm. Look at the adult. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. Working for me. Is it working for you? Mm. Is it doing you right? I apologize. <laughs> you shouldn't have had to see that. We're all adults here. Just what? having a picnic. Just two grown men. Just getting handy with it. Sharing breadsticks <laughs> with each other, okay? <laughs> Nothing to see here. I mean, the, pr the pricing on this thing is the only thing I'm concerned about. You know, woven, embroidered. <laughs> what, are there, what is our overhead? Well. Sometimes I walk into a Kirkland's and I'll see something like this for like three dollars. Yeah, how do they do it? I don't know. They blow my mind every time. That in World Market. This has got to be a. Collab. They got all that crap. <laughs> this is a collab with Kirkland's. Kirkland's, man. We can get Kirkland's out. Kirkland's is like the World Market inside of the mall. We right? can get in and out of a Kirkland's with this for nine ninety nine. Blow people's minds. Right. 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 
I'm having Is that fun. all it takes? Yeah, that's all it Should takes. Should I do that again? Nope. One's okay. plenty. Well, isn't that handy? Snack. Grown ups call dibs. dibs. I mean, listen, we've we've <laughs> taken a number of things from the children today. Yeah, I, they, they have so, they have too much already. Right. Thanks for subscribing and clicking that bell. You know what time it is. Hi, I'm Bryce, and this is my mythical beast, George. <laughs> We're from Appleton, Wisconsin, and now it's time to spin the wheel of mythicality. <laughs> Camera ready. He's a smiley kid. Camera ready. <laughs> Click the top link to watch us see if we can guess the gummy snack character by how it feels in our mouths. I'm gonna the more. And to find out where the Will of Mythicality is gonna land. Get 20% off all Mythical Society plans today through June 3rd, mythicalsociety.com.